Right now at 10, carjacking crime wave, a new rash of violent thefts across Chicago. Tonight, police vow strong action to crack down on carjackers. It comes as the city council prepares to investigate. NBC 5's Trina Orlando on the story. She is live with details. Trina. Allison, good evening. This is not a new problem in the city, but the numbers are skyrocketing. And tonight, that has many victims as well as residents thinking twice about using their cars. Just one day after a violent carjacking was caught on tape outside Willis Tower, Chicago police are speaking out about the startling increase in vehicular hijackings across the city. The spike in vehicular carjackings are a regional and national issue. Chicago police on Thursday revealing that some of the carjackers aren't even old enough to get a driver's license. In one case, just 12 years old. Motives include joyriding and to facilitate anonymity while committing other crimes. On Thursday evening, a caller reported being carjacked outside a sandwich shop in Streeterville. Earlier in the day, another carjacking at 46th and Ellis. It's very, very frightening, and I'm sure my friend is going to be traumatized forever. In December, a retired firefighter was killed during an attempted carjacking caught on tape, a frightening example of how quickly this popular crime can turn deadly. When I turned around, I had a gun on my back. Over the weekend, numerous carjackings were reported across the city, including several in Wicker Park. The victim in one of those carjackings planning to speak before city council on Friday. I think we just want to do everything we can to make sure that others don't have to go through that. And the increase in carjackings has also put pressure on aldermen to take action. There are a number of informational sessions being planned in some of the hardest hit neighborhoods in the days to come. We're live tonight outside City Hall. I'm Trina Orlando, NBC5 News. Trina, thank you so much.